This is the perfect material for a kite tail. Gee, Papa, what are you going to use for kite string? My super stretch, super strong steelhead catfish line, of course. Now stand back for the test flight. Of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? I just decided we'd have to launch this kite from up high. That's all. Now, hand that kite up here. Come on, briskly now. We haven't got all day. Do you think this thing will fly? It must weigh a ton. The space shuttle weighs four and a half million pounds, and it cruises with the greatest of ease. You just don't understand aerodynamics. But, Papa, please. We just want to fly a kite. This time, she's going to take off like a bird. You'll see. It was just a matter of getting some height on it, getting her up into the breeze. I tell you, she's going to soar like a bird. Here we go. Like a bird, huh? Yeah, a dead bird. Papa, this kite is never going to fly. Sheer defeatist poppycock. Why, I've flown kites since I was knee-high to a ladybug. Cub and bear, I've flown everything that flies. Flew the mail with Grizzly Doolittle. Have a perfumed scarf from Amelia Bearheart. You know, if we just had enough power to get her up into those thermals... Hmm. I've got it. I've got the answer. Mama! Mama, bring round the family car. We're gonna go fly a kite and win us a fabulous prize. Oh, dear. Please, Mama, it's the kite contest. And it's this afternoon, Mama. Please. <sighs> okay, start the engine. Okay, let her rip. Whoa! Ooh. Hey, oh, hey, stop, stop, help! Look, Papa forgot to let go. He forgot to let go. Oh, dear. Poor Papa. Uh, help, help, stop the car, stop the car. Now that is the strangest looking bird I ever saw. No, no. Don't stop the car, don't stop the car. Didn't think he was going to make it. Wings too short, and he's much too thick in the fuselage. Go, Mama, go! That's it, go! <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Bear. There's some mail for you. Thank you, Mr. Mail Bear. Oh, good. My tree housekeeping magazine. Hi, Mom. How about a game of Tiddlywinks? Okay, I'll race you up to our room. You're on. Those cubs, with that kind of energy, you'd think they could take better care of their room. <sighs> Speaking of rooms, aren't these lovely? <coughs> Dear, just look at these lovely rooms. <coughs> what, what rooms? What rooms? Help, where am I? These model treehouse rooms in Treehouse Keeping Magazine. Aren't they lovely? Oh, they're nice enough, I suppose, but certainly no lovelier than the rooms in our very own treehouse. This lovely, gracious, neat-as-a-pin living room, cozy, warm, comfortable in the extreme. Oh, it's all right, I suppose. And our delightful dining room. A room to be proud of. Floor clean enough to eat off, not to mention the table. Yes, but... And, of course, your wonderful spick and span, perfectly delicious kitchen. A model room, if ever there was one. Yes, but... 
Yes, but what? Yes, but there's one place in this treehouse I'm not proud of. Brother and sister's room is a mess. A perfectly dreadful, knock-down, drag-out, wall-to-wall mess. And I'm not going to stand for it any longer. I've put up with that messy room long enough. <laughs> uh, well, dear, I've got some urgent work to do in my shop. For Pete's sake, sister, will you take your shot? We're playing tiddlywinks, not chess. Just hold your horses. I didn't get to be tiddlywinks champ of Bear Country School by rushing my shop. What's that? An earthquake? Worse, it's Mama on the warpath. Yes, somewhere in this town beats a criminal heart. Papa, it's just Bear Town. And the bears here are all our neighbors. Yeah, Unc, the crook could be anybody. A very astute observation, nephew. It could be anybody. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. The candlestick maker, of course. The mysterious wax. We've got our crook. Careful now, Snuff. He could be desperate. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Grizzlefelder, the candlestick maker? He wouldn't take a wild flower from the public park. Mr. Grizzlefelder is over 80 years old. Exactly. He's been planning this crime for years. Come on, Snuff, let's get him. Okay, you cover the front. Me and the nose will sneak around and attack from the rear. It's quiet, too quiet. All right, Grizzlefelder, you scurvy honey thief. I'm gonna count three, then we're coming in. One, two. Oh no, Papa, wait. Three. Chapter and snuff. Where'd Papa go? The Grizzlefelder gang's attacking us. Uh. Yo! What a Papa, I found this on the front door. Gone fishing. Be back a week from Tuesday. So you see, he couldn't have stolen your honey. Yeah, slippery old codger. Well, he's still on my suspect list, so tell him he's not to leave town. <sighs> Boy, that was some job straightening up Grizzlefelder's shop. <laughs> Go, snuff, go! Aha! A perfect hideout. And the red and yellow clue. We're up against the cleverest kind of criminal, a female mastermind. Aha! Cherchez la femme, snuff. That's Greek for find the woman. Papa, wait! Shh! Can't you see I'm closing in on a vicious criminal? But this is Grizzly Grand's house. It wouldn't matter to me if it were my own mother. Now, Snuff! Whoa! But, Papa, it is your mother. Oh, hi, Gran. Sakes alive, what's got into you, Papa q -Bear? It's a long story. I'm listening. <laughs> Bear Scout Cousin Fred reporting for... Hey, what? What's going on? We're trying not to wake Papa. Why? You remember when we tried to earn our knot tying badges? Yes? Or how about our overnight camp badges? <laughs> Papa sleepwalked away with our tent. We love Papa, but if we're going to earn our official rescue merit badges, we want to do it on our own, right? Right! right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rescue merit badges today, right? Right. That's just fine. Papa Q Bear, the world's greatest rescue expert at your service. All set and raring to help you earn those little old merit badges. But first, do we all know our official Bear Scout oath? Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, let's hear it. The Bear Scout is honest, straight, brave, alert, studious, kind, respectful of others, and protective of the environment. Very good. In fact, letter perfect. Papa? Yes, my dear? May we get to the rescues now? Rescues? Rescues, of course! Why, it happens that I've rescued bears from every imaginable danger. Roaring fires, raging rivers, terrible earthquakes. If you can think of it, I've rescued someone from it. Bear scouts, fall in and move out. How are we going to find somebody to rescue, Papa? Don't you worry about that. I've got a nose for danger. Just follow me. Ooh. Papa Q Bear, where do you think you're going? Why, I'm going to help these fine scouts rescue somebody. But the whole idea of the test is for them to earn these badges on their own. Of course it is. And they will do it on their own. I'm just giving them the value of my experience. Nose for danger, you know. <sighs> and ears tuned in to sounds of trouble. <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> Look, Grizzly Gran almost over her head and crying for help. Bear scouts to the rescue! But Papa! Alive. Can't a body relax in a pond and vocalize a bit without all the kinfolks bothering them? Guess it just wasn't my day, Coach. And not your game either, at least not on the field. But I got a terrific job for you in administration. You do? Yep, higher management. Come 
superstar point guard, Brother Ben. To win the 7 pm round pass.